much as border security hits the forefront of the national debate, a stealthy piece of technology has slipped under the radar. Even as we speak, it may be flying in our own backyard, quietly recording every single thing it sees. CBS 7's Eddie Garcia traveled to Arizona to get a first-hand look at this mysterious aircraft. He brings us this report. I'm joining you from Fort Huachuca, Arizona, the home of the UAS, which is commonly known as the Predator Drone. What you're seeing behind me is the same type of aircraft that flies over West Texas. The area that the Marfa sector covers is very remote. There are some areas that are very difficult to get to. 165,000 square miles of beautiful and deadly territory, equaling nearly a quarter of the total border, almost impossible to completely patrol until now. We've already done a few missions into Texas, down past uh, Presidio. Technology unlike anything the border has ever seen. The Predator, powered by the Border Patrol's unmanned aircraft system. From their facility in the remote Arizona desert, they bring the cutting edge of border security here. With the UAS system, they'll be able to see a much larger area and spot things that we might not be able to see. To say it has an eagle eye would be an insult. Extremely powerful, $2 million camera at an uh, altitude of 19,000 feet, uh, eight miles out at night, I can tell if someone's packing narcotics on their back. Inside this little trailer, a full flight crew controls the plane. Intelligence officers scour the ground below. They can detect things such as footprints, tire tracks, uh, areas where vehicles or people and equipment are staging. Also included is a cloud penetrating uh, synthetic aperture radar. The sheer speed and advanced nature of the Predator makes patrolling the West Texas border seem like a trip around the block. We can request a mission, so we might very well have the opportunity to have them fly just for us. We can tell them within a matter of minutes, hey, you've got something that's going on that we need to have agents respond to. Uh, or, hey, it may be something as simple as cows and you don't need to waste manpower going out and looking at it. Predator patrols are beginning to increase in the Marfa sector in hopes of tightening border security. So far this year, we've apprehended about 6,500 people trying to cross into our sector. But these unmanned aircraft aren't meant to replace living, breathing officers. It is a collaboration. You can never replace boots on the ground. Ultimately, somebody has to make a resolution, a law enforcement resolution of what the situation is. And it's going to take a Border Patrol agent to be able to do that. There are only about three of these aircraft being used at this time by U.S. Border Patrol. However, that number is set to dramatically increase with the adding of another base in Corpus Christi. And that's set to go online September 2nd, which could mean these Predator drone flights could be an everyday occurrence in West Texas skies. Reporting in Fort Huachuca, Arizona, Eddie Garcia, CBS 7 News. In the midst of this immigration controversy, Predator drones are patrolling the borders of West Texas and beyond. CBS 7's Eddie Garcia shows us how it's causing debate among community leaders right here at home and now joins us with part two of this special report. The Predator Drone, the hottest new technology to ever patrol the border. They've already made patrols over the West Texas border and more are coming. It's an idea that's making local community organizer Art Leal ask questions. The United States has every right to secure its borders and protect its sovereignty. The Predator drones I think is a little bit to an extreme. Leal is concerned about the financial aspect of having machines worth millions of dollars constantly making patrols. It's telling us something that we already know so it seems like we're spending on something that we already know that this is where they're coming through. They're expecting to open up uh, a base in Corpus Christi. Radio host and community watchdog Jason Moore is excited about the program. It's absolutely a positive step. A step he believes will make the border more secure. If we're getting gaps in the coverage, then we absolutely need to add more until we have constant surveillance of what's going on. Right now we're inside the nerve center. This is where the pilots and the crew control the plane. Right now we're looking at images that they're seeing from the air. This is the main camera that is looking literally through the clouds to different structures on the ground. It's a very expensive band-aid. Uh, I don't think it really addresses the root of the problem. 
Liao says the route can be traced to the call for immigration reform in the U.S. We should probably start focusing a lot of our time and effort is on the naturalization application process. So none of us can really understand why. Moore doesn't think it's that simple. He says the predator drones symbolize a strong message to not only aliens, but cartels. Let's face it. Uh, people coming up from the southern border are being used as pawns. People are using them for either bringing in drugs or for political pawns. Uh, we've got to stop that. He says one way to stop that is to create strong and resolute standards for becoming a legalized citizen. If it starts encouraging people to say it's not worth the risk to die in the desert to get to the United States, I'm going to pursue every legal means necessary to get into the United States. Leal says he doesn't agree that most illegals are the pawns of cartels and that most cross because of a broken immigration system. Maybe these drones could be used in Mexico and maybe that would be better to locate where these cartels are actually dug in. For now, the predator will continue to fly over the picturesque West Texas border and could eventually provide an ever-present blanket of surveillance that almost no one can escape. Reporting in Fort Huachuca, Arizona, Eddie Garcia, CBS 7 News.